and welcome to um, session seven. I can't believe we've got to seven and I still am finding these intros really difficult um, to do. But hey, um, I've got to get over myself as one of my friends said. Um, so we are going to be looking at Psalm 92 that says the righteous will flourish like palm trees. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish in the courts of God. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will stay fresh and green, proclaiming the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no wickedness in him. So um, that's really powerful, really, really powerful. And I'll explain a little bit more as we go through. But what are we going to create? We're going to create a tipping. This is a tipping. This is actually um, W. H. Smith tracing paper, uh, but you can use something called vellum. It's kind of like a plasticky tracing paper, and all of these illustrations are on your traceable. So I'll go through how to do that with you. Just in case you uh, are dropping in new to this video, my name is Lisa Noon, and um, I am the owner and creative behind Nouveau Debut, which is a Bible art journaling and workshop providing um, business really. And um, I do festivals, I do online courses, I sell stencils, stickers, all kinds of things, all connecting with um, Bible journaling, but all of them have been created by myself or my daughter. So let's take a moment, let's pause, and then let's just jump into God's word. Hi, so um, I find this reading really, really powerful because um, it says that they will still bear fruit in old age and they will stay fresh and green proclaiming the Lord is upright and he is my rock and actually for somebody um, later on in life this just means that um, God can use us at any stage in our lives whether we're new in faith whether we're mature in faith and anything in between so yeah so so, so that just gives us, I feel that is empowering for us all. So what I'm doing on the video is I've got a piece of, as I said, it's W.H. Smith's tracing paper. Um, it's more of a plasticky tracing paper. It's more similar to something called vellum than um, to the traditional tracing paper. It's very transparent. And I've just drawn around my journal and I've cut it to, to the size that I'm happy with. I'm just finding something that's circular now to draw around to give me a base for the wreaths I'm doing. So these are all the different traceables that um, are in your kit. And I'm just going to begin to build up the wreath by drawing the different traceables in different places around the wreath and spread them out. And it's up to you which one to use. Um, and I thought a wreath was a really good representation of the fact that we can grow in God's word and in, in faithfulness to God and um, we, we can just be we never stop growing that's what I want to kind of say and um, the representations I said in the course materials about the palm tree bearing fruit and being fruitful and the seed of Lebanon they were tall strong trees that were much sought after in biblical times for building of um, uh, structures and of um, things like ships etc so they were really sought after so to be compared with those um, is um, pretty much a real compliment so um, when I was reading this reading I thought well we never stop growing so let's use the word grow in the middle of this wreath and wreaths are used to, to uh, flowers are used to celebrate things um, I've got wreaths for each one of these um, uh, devotional kits at the beginning of each one um, wreath to hung on our door at Christmas to celebrate Christmas so I thought let's just make a, a floral wreath to celebrate the fact that we're forever growing um, in God uh, in his eyes and in his love and in our knowledge of God and I thought I'd do a tipping because we haven't done a tipping um, at this point um, in this course now we can you can stick these in your Bible so if you whatever you wherever you want to stick them if you draw around them and cut them to size you can then um, stick them into whatever it is normally washi tape is a good thing to stick them in with um, but it's completely up to you so um, I'm just finishing off drawing it out in pencil here 
um, and then I'm just gonna speed it up because you don't want to watch me draw anymore so all I've done is I've grabbed a waterproof pen so in this case mine's a uni pen um, but you could use a pigramicron you could use a, a pit pen anything that you know that once it's set is not gonna move with water so you'll notice as I'm drawing every so often I'll dry it with the the heat gun because when you're drawing on um, this kind of surface it can easily smudge and all I'm doing is going over the detail and you might see a little bit um, better now how things have coming together with the wreath so I've actually put some flowers some foliage all kinds of things you can add extra bits you don't have to use a trace of the traceables that I've given you it's just to make things um, easier for you um, and I love this because um, using this kind of vellum tracing paper because you can draw on one side and then um, flip it over and put the colour on on the other side so the only thing I would say is when you're actually um, using the eraser to get rid of your pencil marks it sometimes smudges so make sure your eraser is really really clean and again these white plastic erasers are, are really really great so I've just grabbed my watercolours tin that you've seen one or two times and this is um, as I said a mixture of different watercolours they're not all core like it's on the tin the tin is just a core tin so I'm adding the colour to the back side of this and I'm using a little bit of um, kitchen roll to stop it um, getting too wet and too soggy now you will find that this um, tracing paper will crinkle a little bit but I quite like that I'm just adding um, the colour as we go along different greens a mixture of greens um, different colours I've gone I go for a purple for the flowers um, and I've tried to put it on with a little bit of water uh, not much water rather so that it shows through I'm flipping it over every so often to see what it looks like I'm working on a white piece of paper so that I can see the actual colours that I'm working with a little bit clearer because my worktop is quite bright and shouty in colours so I think I might be using a number 8 brush but I'm not sure the brush came with um, some uh, wood soluble crayons that I've got and every so often here because the um, the tracing paper is crinkling I'm just taking off a little bit of the excess watercolour this is really great using watercolour in this way because you can sit and because it's a longer piece you can actually think about God's word as you're doing it you can dive into it obviously this is sped up um, this one I've sped it up eight times so it took me eight times longer than you're seeing on the video to do this um, so yeah so I'm just drying off the last little bits and then I'm grabbing my um, pencil crayons any pencil crayons will do and I've got my head in the camera sorry and I'm continuing um, to work on the underside for now just add into the layer of colors add into the depth of colour so it's less transparent now I could have just done it all in pencil crayons if I wanted um, you could use markers um, you could use watercolour markers you could use um, alcohol markers will work on this as well sharpies completely up to you it's your page it's your time with God you can do it however you like there is no in Bible journaling there is no rules there is no right and there is no wrong it's about spending time in God's Word and as I said before I really like these crayons my favorite crayons are Prisma colors or I've even got some of the original Charisma colors but they've got really soft leads and they break all the time these have got almost to soft leads but they don't seem to suffer with the breakage so they're a nice in between and they're more affordable so cranes have gone away now and I've grabbed my grow stencil and instead of using paint all I'm doing is I'm using I'm holding it down if you're not very good at holding it you could pop a bit of washi tape on there um, I'm holding it down and I'm using the uh, stencil to outline the lettering with my artist pen and then all I'm going to do now is fill in the space that I've left so I've outlined it so I've got outline of the word and it's just like coloring in the spaces here and again it's really meditative it's really um, reflecting so as I'm looking sorry as I'm coloring this black line in these black words in, I'm thinking about the fact that that all the time I'm growing in my faith with God all the time that I'm running this business 
yeah and in the classrooms where I teach children every day um, I just feel that God is growing me in my faith the things that I'm coming across the experiences I'm having and the times that I get to share my faith um, with others is amazing and the most blessed time that I've had of recent is time as an exhibitor at Spring Harvest I didn't make a profit I didn't even break even but do you know what that time with customers was amazing so now I've got um, some washi tape and I've used the um, the little sample piece that you guys get to do this with on, on the credit card scraper and I'm just actually sticking it into my, my journal that you saw at the beginning I'm really pleased with this the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write in the Bible reference with my um, artist pen and that's it done hope you enjoyed this lesson don't forget to like and subscribe my videos to my videos if you're on YouTube